the cost for the construction of the extension of the express rail link connecting the Kuala Lumpur International Airport and the brand new KLA2 will be borne by the government. The acting transport minister, Datuk Sri Shamudin, also defended the charging of two ringgit inter terminal fare for travels between KLA and KLA2 using the facility as necessary for the maintenance of the ERL. The two dollar charge is really to make sure that maintenance and the operational part of the uh, ERL is taken care of. Sometimes we don't look further uh, afield um, when opening a, a new facility, but um, this will be a different approach from now on where we need to plan ahead. And a facility of this nature should be something that we can uh, pass on to future generations. So I hope we institutionalize it and all aspects of making sure that we can pass it on to many, many generations in the future has been taken into account now and not 10, 20, 30 years from now. Hishamuddin said at the press conference after opening the ERL station at KLA2 in Sepang on Wednesday. Although a minimal inter-terminal fee is charged for ERL travels between KLA and KLA2, the fares connecting KLA2 and other ERL stations are the same as that charged on travels between those stations at KLA. The 2.14 ERL extension between KLA and KLA2 will terminate at the KLA2 gateway complex, which adjoins the main terminal building of the KLA2. On the issue of safety, Hishamuddin reiterates that the KLA2 has received the necessary accreditation to ensure that the building is fit for public use. Today, one. Secondly, I've always said that we will never compromise on safety and that we have assurance from the CCC now, we have assurance from ICAO now, we have independent reports being done by consultants, we have independent local consultants that have done reports. I don't know what else we can do uh, to uh, convince the public that uh, KLA2 is safe to operate. Now is a question of getting everybody working together and the past is the past. I want to look forward and there are many challenges that KLA2 needs to address. The issue of movement of thousands and millions of people, the movements between KLA, uh, KLA proper and KLA2, the issue of radar, the issue of working getting the agencies to all work together, that is our next challenge. So I'm not looking backwards, I'm looking forward. The new terminal is set to open its doors to the public on May 2nd, with the first aircraft to arrive at KLA2 expected to land at 12.05 a.m. from Kota Kinabalu. The current low-cost carrier terminal will cease operations on May 9th.